Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to Power In Your Curl. Here I talk about natural hair, spirituality, um, plants, and I also am a curl coach, meaning I offer one-on-one -on -one support in your natural hair journey. If you're tired of trying to figure it out by watching YouTube videos and just want to get clear on what works for you, you can click down below in the description box and visit my website to learn more about that. But today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> I actually straightened my hair and it's been straight for maybe three weeks now. And I've gotten to that point where it's like, ooh, <laughs> what do I do with this? So I'm going to show you guys how I stretch my hair once it gets like a little too oily and doesn't really have much body or movement. And um, I'm going to show you a style that I like to do. So stick around um, and keep watching if you want to see it. That was so weird. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is part my hair and do a really deep side part. Because the way this style is going to work, I just want to have a nice deep base. Ooh, perfect. And then I'm going to take this comb, which has been amazing on my straight hair. I love it. I'll link it below if I can find it on Amazon. And I'm just going to start from the ends to comb my hair out because, again, it's been three weeks and my roots are very curly <laughs> right now. Um, so I just want to make sure that I'm not breaking hair off. So I'm just going to continue combing out my hair and I'm going to use the paddle brush to just get my hair in position to start flat twisting. The shine is impeccable. That's how you know it's healthy hair. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to take some gel and put it on my edges. Edge control will most likely work best though because it doesn't have a high water content. But gel was all that I had. So, you know, just use what you got. Then I'm going to take this really cute edge brush and I'm going to link it in the description box for you guys. And next we're going to flat twist. So the way that I'm flat twisting is actually away from my face. I find that that makes the style look better when you flat twist forward with straight hair. It doesn't really kind of like flow very well. And I have a video on how to flat twist. It's very, very old, <laughs> but it's the same, you know, method. You just basically twist two strands of hair to your scalp. I took out a little bit of baby adult hair because <laughs> it's so long but um next I'm just gonna put my hair into a ponytail just so I can figure out where I'm going from here and I ended up taking out the ponytail in order to really do the fishtail braid so a fishtail braid is very simple it's just a little bit tedious because what you're gonna do is take the hair from the outside of two halves and just cross it over and put it into the second half so you're really just going to do that the entire time as you're braiding down the hair. And it takes some time because you're essentially just making a pattern on top of your hair. Just take the hair from one side, put it across the other side, and repeat. So once your fishtail is completely done, you're going to fluff it out so it has more of like a beachy, kind of thrown together but still sexy and cute look to it. And I'm just using a rubber band to secure my fishtail in place. But this is the finished result. I actually wore this twice, one casually and one to an event. And this hairstyle is amazing for saving your straight hair. So this is my final result. I can't lie y'all, I'm feeling this. Like I am feeling it heavy. Like this is giving me like um, indigenous Pocahontas vibes, you know. I'm, I'm feeling it a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to wear this style for at least like a day or two and then I would either wash my hair or do another style. So the thing about this is kind of like once you start, you know, doing braids and twists and putting gel in your straight hair is you can somewhat ruin the effect of like just the straight flowy feel of a silk press. Um, so you're kind of locked in <laughs> once you do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do the well, so, you know. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys like this style, if you'll try it. I think it's like super great if you need to dress your hair up, but you don't have time to wash your hair. 
Um, and I welcome any feedback on what videos you guys want to see. Also, be sure to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more. Why did I say that? If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.